guys, it's your girl Jasmine and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. 27 hearts beat! So today I am going to be filming episode 2 or two of my entrepreneur life series so as you can see by the title this video is going to be all about how I organized my inventory and basically everything that I bought and everything that I did to kind of organize it for myself and put it all together I know you guys are probably waiting on this video because I've talked about it a lot so if you're enjoying this entrepreneur life series so far don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you don't ever miss one of these videos and if you have any suggestions for entrepreneur life videos that you want me to film definitely leave them in the comments down below as I will try to get to anything that you guys suggest for me to film so without further ado let's just get on into the video so right up at the top I have my little Dymo label maker in case i need to make some labels then over here i have my little cup thing it just says needs cleaned on it so this is where i would put any of the jewelry that is not already been cleaned so right when i get a new package i'll just stick them right in here so that way i don't put them in the drawers before they've been cleaned so now moving on to this side this part as you can see says clear bags so this has all of my little clear cellophane bags. And then I have jewelry bags. So these are my jewelry bags. If you want a more in-depth inventory haul, I will have that linked right up above and in the description down below if you want to check that video out. And then I have jewelry tabs. These are things I've made myself that I'm just going to be putting inside of the jewelry bags. You can see them there. So I did design those myself on Canva. Now we're gonna move to the other side with the big drawers. This one says business cards. So as you can see, I have put all my business cards in here and these are extra cleaning cards. And then right underneath is cleaning cards. So these are all of my cleaning cards. I don't know if I gave you guys an up close look at these in my inventory haul, but this is what they look like. And I did design these myself. And then under it, I just have extras. So this is extra little tabs that I made that I didn't use, but maybe I'll use for something else. And these are all of the little refills for the label maker. And then these are little dividers for some of the drawers. So I just keep those in there. Now to the main part, which is all of the jewelry. So this is the main thing I liked about this setup here is that it had the big drawers on either side and then it had a bunch of little drawers so I knew that I was going to use all these little drawers for jewelry so this is how I have it organized for now obviously if I get more inventory and when I get new things I might have to do it differently but for now this works for me so we have the top which is basically all nose so I'm gonna bring you in a little closer so as you can see this first one is nose basic and bling which I haven't really made a video on the names of all of my things but that will make sense a little bit later so I have those in here and everything in the drawers right now has not been cleaned I just put it in here so I could show you how it will look then I have nose hoops all in here and then I have nose other so this is gonna be anything that's not a hoop or a bling or basic it's gonna be in here so these are some opal nose rings which I'm pretty sure you won't be able to see and then this one is septum I don't really have any fancy septum rings yet so I just made one drawer just for septums because these are just the plain horseshoe septum rings then this next row are tongue rings and the nipple bars so the first one is tongue basic and bling so again we just have all of the different tongue bars in here and then tongue other I don't have any but I left a space for it so some of them won't have one but I left a space because I knew I'm going to eventually get tongue other then we have the same for nipple nipple basic and bling in here and then nipple other again doesn't have anything and then the next row are belly and tragus so we have belly bling and basic again just the bling and basic ones belly other this is probably my most full one 
So I have quite a lot of different options when it comes to belly rings. If you guys want me to do a full video on showing you all of my inventory as far as my jewelry, so showing you all my jewelry, how I'm pricing it, everything like that, I definitely will do a video like that because I find stuff like that interesting so you kind of know what things look like better than just seeing it on a website. Then we have Tragus. So again, the basic and the bling. And then Tragus Other does have one in it. And then the last thing I have in this organizer are industrial barbells. So I just have the plain silver and I also have black industrial barbells. The rest of them are empty. There's nothing in any of them and they're not labeled because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be getting and what order I would want to put it in. So I just left those blank for now. Moving to this side over here. This is just the organizer that I got from Walmart. Again, if you saw my inventory haul, you know I got one of those little file organizers. In the back, I just have all of my Avery stickers and I just left them in the packaging that they came in so that way you know they stay nice and neat then I have these address label makers and I'm going to be using these on my thank you cards in here I have the actual like I actually printed on them so this is going to go on my thank you cards it's just follow us and again if you're watching this video don't forget to follow my business Instagram if you can even see it, I had it sideways <laughs> at Sun Kiss Body Jewelry right there. So that's just what's in there. So little sticker labels I've already made. And this right here is my order log. And then this envelope right here is just some legal forms that I wanted to make sure I knew where they were. Now moving into the actual organizer cubes. The first two cubes are the only ones that I have for my business. The other, I'll give you a little pan, are just a mess of stuff. So we're just going to focus on these two. And then I have another spot with stuff for my business in it. So as you can see right here these are all of my bubble mailers they go into the back as well which I don't think you can even see I have my white bubble mailers here and in the back and then these are all of the black ones so again if you saw my inventory haul these are the bigger size and then the black ones are the smaller size and then here I have this three drawer organizer and I got this from Walmart which was not in my inventory haul I don't think because I think I bought it after then I have this up here which I got from the Dollar Tree. It's just like a little organizer folder looking thing. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with this, but I put it up there because I figured I would need it for something. So as you can see, I've labeled all of the drawers. So this first one are my organza bags. So it is literally just full of all of my organza bags. They fit perfectly in there. Then I have my thank you cards, which I'm not going to fully open because then you'll see the code, but just know thank you cards are in there. And then these are my extra supplies. So, oh. This one's a little stuffed. So I have my other, the rest of my organza bags right here. I have some more jewelry bags here. And then these are the bags that I'm going to be putting the jewelry in after they're cleaned. I decided that once I clean the jewelry, I don't want to put them back in the bag that, that my vendor sent them in. So I wanted to kind of label bags my own way. So I got some bags on Amazon and I've just labeled them all here with the name of the item. So I'll show you this one. So this is going to be the Bling Tragus slash Cartilage. It's a 16 gauge and it is 1 14th of an inch. So that definitely says 1 4th of an inch so I'm not sure what I was reading but yeah I just wanted to clarify that because that definitely does not say 1 14th of an inch so that's the size so that way I know the basic information on each piece and I can just go in and grab it right out when I get an order so that's just to keep myself a little bit more organized but again they're not cleaned yet but they will all go in these and then these bags will go up into these so that is all for this and then these drawers right here is where I keep the rest of my business stuff now the top three again are the only place that I have business things the bottom one I will give you a little peek in it but it's just a mess of paint and other things that are just for me so that's not business but starting up here again I've labeled them so the first one is shipping supplies so if you open it here I have my scale which this is a food scale I'm probably going to try to get a what like a regular scale probably off of Amazon but for now this one works perfectly fine then I have my shipping labels in here and then I have a bunch of rulers. I obviously didn't need this many rulers. I just had this many around my room. So I put them all in here. And this one also is a hole punch right there. So that's what's in there. And then this next one is pick up supplies. So I do want to eventually offer pick up in the local area. So I did want to make sure I had supplies for that. I have like the shredded paper here. 
And then I have the little baggies. And then I have receipt books right here. So that is all of the pickup supplies stuff that I have. And then the last thing for this, how I organize my inventory, which this one's kind of hard to open with one arm. All right, so as you can see on the label, this one is cleaning supplies, and this one was hard to open, it's pretty full. So here I just have clean paper towels. I made sure that I got my own roll of paper towels just for my business, so that way they don't get used for anything else. And then this is all of the things I will need to clean. So I have mouthwash for the tongue rings or any other oral piercing, and then I have the gloves that you saw in my inventory haul. I have the bowls. These are the ones I got from the Dollar Tree, which I believe were in my haul, and I just labeled them. So that way I continue to use the same ones every time for the same thing. So like this one says salt, we have soap, and then this one is mouthwash. So that way everything stays sterile and gets used in the same way. And then back here we have sea salt. Again, non-iodized, regular sea salt. And I have this Dial antibacterial soap. It has been used. I was using this on my tattoos when I got a new tattoo. I probably will get something else, but for now, this is going to work. Any antibacterial unscented soap is good for piercings and tattoos. And then back here, this doesn't have anything to do with cleaning, but these are those little sales books that I said I didn't know what to do with, so I just kind of stuck them back here because they didn't have another home. So that is this drawer and that is all for how I organize my business. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Comment down below any video requests that you have for me. And again, I really hope you guys enjoyed the way that I organize all of my inventory. I really hope it gave you guys some inspiration if you're starting a business and you might need some inspiration on how to organize your items. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel right down below. Hit that red subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you never miss an upload from me. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. Also don't forget to follow my social media. It'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description bar down below as well as my business Instagram which you should definitely go check it out. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!